Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice is directed by Zack Snyder and stars Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill, Amy Adams, Jeremy Irons, and it is the eighth time seeing Batman on the big screen and the seventh time seeing Superman on the big screen. So yeah. And before we get into this review, this is going to be a completely spoiler-free review. I will do a spoiler review. So this will be my spoiler-free review. You're free to watch this. So yeah, this film has been really looking forward to by many people. I mean, a lot of people have been wanting to see uh, Batman and Superman fight each other on the big screen. Including myself, because I love both of these characters. Uh, it's been three years since Man of Steel, four years since The Dark Knight Rises. And it's been like seven or seven or eight years since The Dark Knight. And it's been like eleven years since Batman Begins. Where has the time gone? So, you're probably wondering what I think of the film. Well, I was not a fan. Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice was one of the most disappointing films I've seen. Now, look, keep in mind, I'm not saying it's a terrible film, but, but we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, first of all, let's... Uh, get to the positives as always. Ben Affleck as Batman by far was the best thing about the whole movie. You know, I grew up with Batman. Uh, you know, I love the look of Batman. Uh, you know, you know, Batman with Superman is great to watch on the big screen. You know, and and Hen. Henry Cavill is, is pretty good as Superman, uh, he's still got it, you know what I mean. Oh yes, uh, the second best thing I thought about the film was, uh, Jeremy Irons as Alfred J. A. Pennyworth, if that's it, yeah. I thought he was actually good in the film, uh, yeah, I wish he got to do more, but oh well. Gal Gadot, if that's how you say her name, uh, as Wonder Woman, uh, is she in this movie? Yes. She, I thought she was actually good. Yeah, she was pretty good, you know, she doesn't top Catwoman from The Dark Knight Rises or anything, but she's fine in it, so yeah. Uh, and Amy Adams as, uh, Lewis Wayne. Uh, Lewis, yes. Uh, you know what I mean. Uh, she was uh, good in the film. Uh, I like how she got. I actually liked her better than she was in Man of Steel. So yeah. Now uh, let's get to the uh, negatives. Uh, as I was really looking forward to this movie, uh, I thought this movie was probably going to be one of the best Batman films or top one of the Dark Knight films, but that wasn't the case for me. First of all, uh, Lex Luthor in this film. Yeah, I mean, Lex Luthor is a good villain. Uh, he's a good uh, villain in the DC universe. Uh, I respect him as a villain. I really like him. But I just felt like he didn't fit in this movie. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I just didn't like Lex Luthor with hair, I just don't know why. You know, uh, his voice is like Jim, it's like Jim Carrey playing, playing Lex Luthor. If that ever happened, then it would be so weird if Jim Carrey was in this film. But at that, but Jim Carrey, but why? Yeah, I mean, I completely agree with one of the reviewers that he actually does look like uh, Jim Carrey a little bit. The act, the guy who plays him, uh, Jess, whoever the hell he is. I mean, he what? He's not terrible in this movie, but 
I just thought it didn't fit at all. Yeah. So yeah, I had a lot of hype going into this movie because because I was hoping that Ben Affleck would be a good Batman, and surprisingly, he was. Yeah. Uh, but the film, I was a bit disappointed. But there were still things I liked about it. But um, I wouldn't say that I was glad that I saw it. But but I was glad that I was looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, it's nowhere good as the Dark Knight films. It's not good as the Tim Burton Batman films. But it's a thousand times better than the George Schumacher Batman films. For goodness sake. Just no question to that. Yeah, and it's a billion times better than Quest for Peace, for goodness sake, as well. Thousand times better, for goodness sake. So, I am going to give uh, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, a 5 out of 10. Yeah, I had a lot of hypes going into the movie, guys. But I was disappointed, but... Oh well. So comment down, let me know, and let me know what did you think of the movie. Did you love it? Did you like it? Did you thought it was okay? Did you not like it? Or did you hate it? Let me know below. And make sure you go on to Google Plus to my uh, voting decision. Uh, I'm reviewing two films, and you should vote for which you'd want me to review first, or which you like better of the two films. Uh, the vote will be finishing on either Wednesday or Thursday, the 30th or the 31st, uh, I'm not sure. Around then, the vote will finish. But as always, you can comment, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time and peace.